Welcome back to Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. All right. It's been a minute. What do we got in store for you today? You know, I've been looking forward to this one. It's been getting a, a little bit of, you know what? It's been putting a tremor in the force. There is a great disturbance in the force. To be honest, or at least around me. And what I'm about to show you is been talked about by a couple people online. Uh, I know one person that has it, my buddy in Arizona, Ricky King. I've seen a couple other people talk about it. I guess it's only been released in California, Arizona, and maybe a couple other places. It's a limited release right now. And I call my local big box store. They happen to have it, so I bought it right then, picked it up on my way home from work. And this is it. I'm gonna show you right here. Frank August. I don't know if you guys have heard of this yet. Probably have. Sweet little bottle. Nice and simple. Very modern looking. I tried to do some research on this thing. There's not a whole lot out there on this, at least that I could find. Beautiful bottle. Nice and simple. Even cool enough where this little label on the back is like a little static sticker. It comes right off. This plastic comes right off. So if you're done drinking this thing, use that as a little decanter. All it says is Frank August on the front. On the neck right here, I mean, this is a small batch. It was like 60 bucks and change, right? Plus tax. It says here, small batch, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, 100 proof. Now, for what I read on it, it's an undisclosed distiller, but it is sourced. So, I mean, when anyone says it's sourced, we think uh, Barton or MGP, right? That's the two I think of anyway. And like I said, it's a nice, cool, sleek little bottle. I heard some awesome stuff about this uh, cork, this stopper here. I heard it weighs about 40 pounds, so I'm about to find out. But uh, supposedly they're coming out with a single barrel as well. But let's get into this one. Small batch, Frank August. Like I said, not a lot about it. I'm gonna open this sucker up right now. Let's get pouring this sucker. Right, got me a brand new, nice new blend. Let's see what we got. <laughs> that was so weak. Oh my goodness. That was horrible. I got, hey, that is heavy though. That's, that is nice. I'll tell you that. That is nice. Let me, let me give this another shot. That was that was really bad. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, I had to force it, but that was at least better, right? That is awesome, though. Let me get a pour on this. All right. First pour of the day. August right there let's swirl this sucker up see what we got you know it's a nice color it's a nice caramelly color it's dark enough Ooh. well that first nose might be why it's caused a little tremor in the force right there I felt a great disturbance in the force as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced we got some caramel vanilla I mean for sure Nothing super heavy, a tiny bit of ethanol, but nothing overpowering. Ooh, that smells pretty good. A little bit of bacon spice in there. Ooh, that smells pretty good. All right, I'm gonna make this one quick. Let me swirl it around a little bit though. Also something that I read is that at the undisclosed distillery, it would easily qualify as bottled in bond. I don't know where they got their information. But that's the information I'm passing on to you. That this is a small batch supposedly 15 barrels is the max they're going on this small batch not a lot of info on this i gotta say they're trying oh in the name frank august i guess it's the frank part is they're being frank it's not a person they're being frank 
with the whiskey community about whiskey. This is our native spirit. Let's get back to being frank. And is it good or bad, right? Good or bad, right? Well, I'm about to find out it's good on the nose. I know that. It's not heavy on the nose. It's good. All right, I'm going to get in a sip in this thing right now. Hmm. There's a wood chip in there if you're uh, wondering. That is, that's pretty good. It's not overpowering at all. It was $60 at a big box store. Limited release right now, like I said. Not a whole bunch going on, but got that vanilla, caramel, some allspice. It's coating my tongue pretty well. I'm going for the second sip. I mean, I'm pleased with it. It's pretty good. You going for a second sip? Hopefully, it's better. Normally, it is for me. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'd say a little bit of crisp apple, probably green apple. Yeah, I'm getting some more of that allspice. Not cinnamon, but an allspice. Not overbearing though that hunter proof i think is perfect for this if it was proofed up a little more i think it would just overpower it and you just feel that proof Ooh, some caramel some brown sugar i'm getting on the back end you know i get a tiny bit of oak on the back end it's a decent finish it's a medium not super long finish but it's a medium finish for me decent legs it's pretty good nice sleek bottle Hmm, even better now. Wow, that's really enjoyable, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. I wish I could give you more info on it. Hopefully more comes out over the next, you know, few weeks. Maybe I'll uh, hit it up again, or at least get a, an add-on to the video, a little blurb or something. It's a little bit peppery. It's uh, adding to the warmth. It's not a, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna say peppery. I'm gonna finish this suck off. Yeah, that's good. I'm really curious to find out where this actually comes from. Cool bottle, nice and sleek, $60 and change from where I bought it. Yeah, it hits all the normal notes, but accentuates them. Doesn't go off the charts or off the rails anywhere. A little peppery. I'm getting a little bit more pepper now, but I don't not like it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I'm, I'm going to give this a... Uh, Without more information on it, I'm just curious about the ball. Ball looks cool and all that stuff. It was getting a little bit of hype, so I want to get a review on it. I'm gonna give us some axes right now, people. My axes is up to five. It's five axes. It's bad axe, right? Three I'm using as my middle, right? So I'm gonna give this. It's above average. Four axes. Four axes. <laughs> Four axes, baby. Woo! All right. All right. And that's it. I'm going to wrap it up on this one. Frank August, if you haven't tried it and you got in your area, go give it a shot. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's like the mystery bottle right now, you know? It's got a little tremor in the forest, like I said. I have felt it. Give it a shot. I like it. All right. So, what do we like to say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family. It's Bad Axe. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Till next time.